Hello, this is GeoTechLand, and today I have some exciting news for you guys. Steam has officially announced support for playing Windows games on Linux. So they've been apparently they've been funding and supporting people that were developing translations for you know things like Direct 3D 11 over Vulkan via DXVK. And although uh, all that they invested in has produced something that they're calling Proton, which is based on Wine, and that's gonna let that's how it's actually gonna let you play Windows games on Linux or on Steam here. You guys can read about this here. I'll put a link in the description for you, and it's gonna show you exactly and explain in greater detail how this is all set up to work. They do have a list of um, sort of official games that they've tested that should, I guess, guarantee to work. Um, although, I'll show you guys in a moment that a lot of games that are not on this list are working perfectly fine. And so they'll give you instructions on how to get this enabled. I'll quickly let you guys know how. You'll go to, um, let me actually go to the Steam. Uh, client here and hit settings and you go to account change you click to participate in steam beta update it'll prompt you to restart and once you restart you come back to this menu you'll see steam play I would recommend enabling it um, for all titles but that's what I did I went to my library and lo and behold it says I have a total of 47 games and a total of 47 Linux games. And so what I did here, just to kind of test things out, I downloaded my usual suspects of games here. And some of them are actual native Linux games, um, but the ones that aren't are Dead Space 2, The Elder Scrolls Morrowind, South Park The Stick of Truth, and Perception. The reason why I pick these games is that the file size of them are very low so I can do multiple tests. Uh, and so far, I think the only game that didn't work was, um, yeah, it was Morrowind, The Elder Scrolls Morrowind. That one boots up, but then it gives me an error that something's wrong with the audio. Um, so may, maybe down the line it'll start working. Um, now the one cool thing is that all these games that I that do that did work that I tested, they all work with controller support, and that was very um, I was surprised by that because when I've tried messing around with Wine, even though I was doing it, uh, I set it up very basic, just because it was very easy. Uh, I never got controller working, and I knew that was going to be key if it was going to be viable for me to play them here. Um, the other nice thing here is that you can see the FPS counter. Um, so you'll see the frames per second that um, the games are running on. So that's very neat. Um, the only other thing to note is Dead Space 2. It does take about a minute or so to boot. Um, but it works perfectly fine as you'll see. So if you guys uh, um, are excited as me to be playing Windows games on your Linux machine... Um, stay tuned and you're going to be seeing a, a lot of tests that I'm going to be running on. Pretty much I'm going to be testing all the games, especially the AAA games are going to come later because those um, are huge games. The biggest thing that was preventing a lot of people from just going full Windows or full Linux, I should say, is um, the fact that you can play a lot of the Steam games or most Steam games on Linux and Hopefully that's going to change. Um, I think overall this is going to be a good thing because it'll get people playing on Linux and I think it is going to get the attention of devs and hopefully that will motivate them to um, port their games natively to Linux. So enjoy the video and if you like it, uh, please like, share, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Sweet douchebag, kick these out asses. Suck my balls. You're wounded, douchebag. Potions will heal you. Here. The rules say you can have one potion every turn. I asked for five, but this was a compromise. This guy's fast, douchebag. Try to block all his attacks. I know you're confused right now. I can explain everything, but you gotta trust me, okay? Listen, you're in terrible, terrible danger. <laughs> When you're blind, you learn a thing or two about trust. You learn who to trust. Creepy Cassie! Never gonna find Cassie! <laughs> Cassie! Cassie! You learn what to trust. Focus, Cassie. What's this sound? A fan. Good. Now, what's in front of the fan? I don't know. Cassie, sounds are how we see. Listen, tap your cane. It's a coffee mug. Great. Excellent. Though you are without sight, it does not mean you cannot see. And most importantly, you learn to trust yourself. Even if that means hopping on the first flight to Boston to find the mansion from your nightmares. Really? 